Hey guys, it's Stephen here, back with the final Premier League video of the season. Absolutely terrifying. But before going to, I want to say thank you to my latest patron, Stuart Barber. Stuart, you're an absolute hero. Here's your shout out, mate. If you want to get involved, get a shout out, get involved to the Discord and the Q&As and all that kind of stuff, patreon.com forward slash esteemed company. If not, just keep watching these videos, keep liking them, keep commenting, subscribe if you're new and all that kind of stuff. And that means absolute loads to me, I absolutely promise you. Right, this game then. It's here. This is the final game of the season. Uh, 37 games so far. We're top of the league. It's all been coming to this point. Uh, and this is it. I'm absolutely terrified. I've been trying to ignore it mostly during the week. I've been very busy this week uh, at work personally, so I've not had time to think about it too much. It's been a blessing in disguise, but now I'm sat here on Saturday with a cold light of day staring straight at me. Um, I'm starting to feel very anxious because... Uh, I feel like it could go wrong. It might not go wrong, it probably won't go wrong logically, but you know, you start to have all those doubts and you start to second guess yourself and you start to think, I hope it's all not for nothing. Uh, I hope in general that we get there because I think we've earned it, I think we deserve it, um, and I hope we do finally cross that line. Uh, it's gonna be horrible, it's gonna be tense, <clears throat> it's gonna be anxious, it's gonna be nerve wracking. But that is Manchester City Football Club, that is why I love them. And it does feel like this season we've done some pretty special things. I know the Champions League loss still stings, but in general this team has been phenomenal. To win 13 games in a row, to get this far against a Liverpool team that's done as best as they've ever done. Well, that is genuinely pretty special stuff, uh, which only basically makes it even more potentially painful if it doesn't happen. I am feeling kind of confident, even though I'm nervous, but this is essentially what it's all about today. So I'm going to look at uh, basically a bit of an overview of the team news, predict my lineup, uh, a bit about Brighton, and essentially try and predict the game. So what do we know about this? Uh, obviously, we played them twice so far this season. We beat them in the semis, of course, 1-0, 2-0 early in the season as well. And uh, we basically won the last four meetings against Brighton, no competitions, including two the season of course. Brighton have also lost all three of their away games against City by at least a two goal margin but this is obviously a home game for them. We'd be the first team ever to retain the Premier League trophy uh, since United about 10 years ago and uh, this would be our 32nd win of the season if we do it equaling our record set last season. Guardiola is also the first person to claim one league victory against every single side and they've faced for the second consecutive season and the only other person to do this was a uh, person, person, people's was Preston in 1888 and 89, then the following season. So, like, literally over 100, what, about 130 years old now, that record, and we've matched it. Absolutely crazy stuff. But this is what football is all about, I guess. Trying to get to these moments, trying to enjoy them, trying to somehow find some form of enjoyment throughout all this stress. Uh, and I was so excited at the same time, terrified. I'm going to be tomorrow uh, at that kind of City Square event. So, if you see me there, do say hello. I'm going to be there with my dad, my girlfriend, Nicola, and then a couple of mates. It's going to be great. Hopefully, Hopefully, it'll be a time that we all remember. But if it isn't, I am genuinely quite uh, proud of this team in terms of what they've done, what they've achieved. Yes, we do need to finally put the cherry on the cake. But this team, you can't really need, like question their desire, their work rate, their um, absolute stubborn refusal to lie down. Uh, so... I am proud of this team, but I just want to get over there. Company's also been captain company during uh, the press conference before round. He said, for me, experience is very important. I, went, I very vividly remember before the QPR game and the second time before the West Ham game. It was two completely different mindsets and the way we play the games were completely different as well. I can feel that the same sense of calmness as it was before the West Ham game. So experience definitely plays a role. It's about us passing it on to everyone else. Um, the very first time in 2012 was very confusing, chaotic, where now it's business as usual. I'm looking for little mistakes and attitude and behaviour and I haven't seen any. We're doing the right thing for now, we're focused and I'm not seeing get any, anyone getting carried away or nervous. So yeah, Vincent's been um, essentially being Vincent Company there, bigging it up massively. Pep also said it's a bit of a dream to be here. I didn't expect it when we were seven points behind Liverpool, but now we are here, which is obviously very, very true. We've come so, so far, um, and we've capitalised on any minor little mistakes Liverpool have made, and it basically says a lot that we're actually here. In terms of team news, De Bruyne has been training. He was training on a Thursday and Friday. He might have been training today. If they have trained, I don't know. And he could be involved, according to Guardiola. There's no Fernandinho, though, and he's still a bit of a doubt for the FA Cup as well, which is a bit of a shame but it's great news about De Bruyne of course Mendy sadly his season is over he's gone back to Barcelona for further treatment which doesn't really bode well does it for Mendy he's just not reacting well at all and his knees are absolutely knackered by the sounds of it hopefully a summer resting will give him plenty of time to recuperate properly for the next season but it's not looking good at the moment isn't it so in terms of my predicted team well 
I think it largely picks itself. It's a couple of variations, but I'm going to go for it pretty safe here. I'm going to presume as well that Kevin De Bruyne is not involved because I don't think he'll start this game. He might be on the bench, but he could surprise us. But I think on the bench, definitely, but not probably in the starting 11. So I'm going for Edison in goal because Edison is always in goal because Edison is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, right back, Kyle Walker. I think Company and Laporte will play again. Company will start this game. I think it's very important for us. Uh, and he's had plenty of rest since Monday night. Since his heroics on Monday night, uh, and Laporte alongside him seems our first choice at the moment. We've seen Chenko at left back as well. In midfield, no Fernandinho means Gundogan's going to play there, isn't he? Which is pretty obvious, really. But then, honestly, I think it'll be Bernardo and David. We could see Foden play. Maybe we could see De Bruyne if he's not if he's deemed fit enough. But as I said, I think De Bruyne will be on the bench. Foden did play against Leicester. He was very quiet, a bit poor, if we're being honest. But he was good against Spurs, so who knows? Maybe we'll get another chance. But I think it'll be Bernardo and David Silva. Then I think we'll see the usual fun free there in terms of I think Sarney will come back into the team. I think it'll be Sterling and I think it'll be Sergio Aguero. Now, that team is obviously more than strong enough to get this uh, victory that we need uh, to win the Premier League. It all comes down to win this game and it's plenty there and there'll be plenty off the bench to get the three points and then on to Brighton Chris Hewton's Brighton they're going to be absolutely horrible to play against of course they're at home it's the last game of the season they'll want to respect the competition as Hewton said himself in the press conference and by that obviously they won't, won't want to be accused of lying down and rolling over and why would they they don't teams don't tend to do that usually it's a bit of a myth that whole thing um so I expect they'll make it very difficult for us uh they are very compact when they get people behind the ball. They're very good at that. And also, he's the captain, uh, Bruno. He's his last game, so he'll want to put in performance as well. Though they are winless in eight league games, they've drawn three, lost five. Um, they've only lost w uh, one of the previous four matches, conceding just three times. So they keep it pretty tight. They're missing Davy Proper and Izzy Guerrero. I can't pronounce that. Uh, so they've got a couple of injuries out there. But in general, Brighton have got absolutely nothing to lose. They are safe at the moment, which is obviously huge for them. It'll be a bit of a kind of like a relaxed atmosphere, I presume. I always wonder as well if maybe um, the fact that we haven't got a kind of a nervous home stadium crowd might play into it in a good way. We might be. Uh, it might be less expectation on the City players. They can just go there and not feel the tension around the ground that you get from a home game. It might be more difficult because Brighton might not want to, you know, be showing up at home. But I think in terms of the crowd atmosphere, it might actually help the players a little bit. There'll be less expectation because obviously there's only a smaller travelling away fans there. I wish I was going, but sadly I'm not. In terms of Brighton's results... They drew one all against uh, Arsenal last weekend. Uh, at home, they drew against Newcastle. They lost their way to Tottenham 1-0. Drew 0-0 against Wolves. So basically, they're not conceding many goals at the moment, frustratingly. Though they did lose 2-0 at home to Cardiff. They got battered 5-0 uh, against Bournemouth at home as well. But that was a few weeks back now. And obviously before that, City beat them 1-0 in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. They're largely pretty tight these days at the moment, though. So they're going to make it very difficult for us because they're obviously got absolutely nothing to lose, as I said, because they obviously aware of their own fate in this competition. Which leads me on to my prediction bit. I can't really talk about this game without not talking about Wolves as well, Wolves and Liverpool. Liverpool have got a, a Wolves team that, in general, are good. You know, they're obviously excellent against the top six teams. They beat Fulham last weekend. They beat Watford away from home. They beat Arsenal 3-1. They won a three-game winning streak there. They're also very good against the top six, as we know. So Wolves basically aren't going to be a pushover for Liverpool. And there could be a lot of nervous anxiety at Anfield. Though having said that, I do expect Liverpool to win that game. They were fantastic against Barcelona the other night. And I suspect that energy momentum will carry on to this game for them and get them the three points, which leads it on to us, really. We have to win this game. I'm really hoping we get an early goal here just to calm the nerves just to soothe those anxieties and then basically we kind of stroll out to a comfortable 2-3-0 victory having said that I'm expecting it to be very very tense but I really do believe that in general if we control the game and come out with enough intensity we'll eventually get that goal we've seen it recently against Leicester we've seen it against United against Burnley that when we start to turn the screw we start to create chances it's normally around the half an hour mark between the half an hour and the hour mark of the game when we get into one of them, we create so many chances that usually, eventually, one of them goes in. Now, logic genuinely dictates that City will win this. That's just logic. That's not my bias. That's just genuinely logic. We've won 13 games in a row. We're obviously a much better team than Brighton, with all due respect to them. Uh, and everyone would say at Manchester City are going to win this. It felt like Leicester was the big game on Monday, but that's what makes me anxious because it felt like... All that relief came out of the Leicester game that we could take our eye off the ball against Brighton. For what it's worth, I don't think we will. I think we've got a bunch of incredible pros who will take it very seriously, who will want to win this and achieve something that I personally have never seen in my lifetime. Manchester City winning back-to-back -back titles. Well, it's never happened before in the club's history. So this would be a massive moment for Manchester City, a massive moment for Guardiola, um, and a massive moment for the City fans in general too. It could and probably should happen. Having said that, I will feel anxious till the ball goes in the back of the net. In terms of prediction... 
I think we'll win it. Uh, I don't mean it in a patronising way to Brian. I don't mean it to annoy any fans of other teams. But I think we should win this. We should win it really, given the squad we've got, given the players we've got, and given the form we're in at the moment. I'm going for 2-0. Uh, I hope it's 2-0. If we draw or we lose, it's going to be very hard to make content. But that is football, you know. I'll still be here and I'll still be supporting the team come the FA Cup final. Liverpool are fantastic. Uh, they're absolutely fantastic. They've done so well to keep up Manchester City this season. And the points total they've got is phenomenal. And if they don't win the league, they'll be gutted. Uh, and probably understandably so, because they have no right to not win the league with that points total. And same if it happens to Manchester City as well. Two incredible teams. So uh, whoever wins it, they genuinely deserve it, I reckon. It's very hard for me to accept that, but it's just actually true. Fingers crossed it's my team, Manchester City. I'm terrified. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments which way you think it's going to go, of course. Oh, terrified. Uh, once again, I'm at the City Square event tomorrow watching it with all the City fans. It's going to be like twelve to 15,000 people there, apparently. It's going to be absolutely incredible loads of fun. So if you're there, do say hello. If you see me, I'm terrified. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow for a video. It probably won't be a polished video if we win it, <laughs> and it won't be a happy video if we don't. Anyway, in a bit, Stephen. Thank oh, as ever, though, thank you to all these people here. Heroes. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye.